Uh, welcome to this um, presentation and thanks for the uh, uh, ITF uh, for uh, re-inviting me for presenting something uh, a little bit different from what uh, I did in the accessibility roundtable. Um, this is a really um, a common work uh, done within the cooperative with my colleague Gianni Rondinella, who did um, most of the calculation of the data, and uh, I did more the part of the theoretical part and uh, modeling part, and as well uh, with the uh, um, other from coming from other discussion, we are uh, we have uh, within the transport research board uh, in the diversity, equity, and inclusion uh, um, methods that we will try to uh, push. Uh, a little bit, and uh, from a paper published with uh, um, uh, um, Luis Angel uh, Guzman and uh, Daniel De Laos about the different discount rates uh, in um, uh, to use for evaluating uh, and to do the cost-benefit analysis of uh, uh, infrastructures or public or private. So uh, let's go on. Um, what we observe. Is, sorry. Sorry, uh, just a moment. Ah, yes. We should always uh, turn off the mobile. Uh, okay. Um, oops, sorry, one sec. And uh, let's see if I can. Okay. So. Um, what we uh, what we see uh, in the in the literature that uh, most of the infrastructure are uh, dedicated for uh, cars and um, most of them are uh, we have uh, most of them uh, related to urban uh, or metropolitan transport and uh, what we know from uh, Bannister from uh, 2007. Uh, that this uh, kind of infrastructure are strongly regressive. Uh, this means that um, 0 0.6 cost is for uh, the upper uh, income people and uh, in respect to low income people. And what we observe on the other side uh, is that the model share, uh, this is for Madrid, but um, maybe we can uh, adapt to other cities. Uh, is uh, is not exactly what we expect uh, in, uh, if we would like to respect what we spend in the car infrastructure in, in uh, respect to public transport infrastructure. And uh, we, we see that most of the uh, people are uh, using public transport and uh, active modes. In Madrid, the active modes um, prevalent is the uh, working. So this is a little bit the situation. So let's see a little bit where, what, where, what is the starting point. Um, we, had the, uh, we, we, had, we were granted for a, a research uh, uh, action project uh, in Madrid for uh, doing an evaluation uh, afterwards of the construction of the um, of the um, covering of the um, bigger uh, highways in Madrid, that is M30. Um, that was done uh, in uh, in the name of uh, travel saving, uh, better environmental condition, and so on. And um, there was a government in 2015. Uh, that uh, would, would you like to go a little bit through these uh, infrastructures and uh, evaluate what was uh, the real impact. And for the first time in the, um, in the uh, uh, call, uh, the, uh, the Madrid Municip Municipality of Madrid uh, asked for uh, a gender impact. This is, was like uh, a, a very uh, new uh, things, it was not well uh, accepted even by the, um, the journalist. Uh, they said, what, what, is, what uh, is the deal, uh, gender impact for uh, in, uh, car infrastructures? And uh, maybe they were right, because uh, it's true that uh, uh, women use less uh, the cars. But maybe it's just for that, that uh, following what uh, Yoram said at the beginning, um, when um, we don't uh, use the equity and we don't consider 
all the target groups in the analysis, we just forget about them. We see that they don't, deal, they don't need uh, to be considered in this uh, um, analysis. But this was not only the uh, problem of these infrastructures. Uh, what we, will, we, we decide to, uh, like uh, researchers, we decide to go through all the other impacts and uh, to check if uh, the gender impacts was just the only one that was neglected. So we started to uh, check the uh, socioeconomic impacts, the environmental and health and human rights uh, effects, and the gender impacts. We create this kind of uh, methodology, um, a little bit uh, uh, following the multi-criteria analysis, just, in, just like uh, the uh, starting point. So we, co we collect the data, we use assessment methods, and we uh, try to um, analyze the results and uh, to define some recommendation for the um, policy makers uh, in, uh, in Madrid. Uh, we uh, use this model that is a land use and transport interaction model that uh, we uh, started to work on uh, quite a long time ago uh, when I was working at the Technical University of Madrid. And um, this model is, it was able to uh, define a cost benefit function uh, based on uh, transport user, transport operator, government externalities. So all these aspects were uh, inside. Of course, the gender impact was not inside in, uh, in, the, in the model in the beginning, and we added this aspect. What is the case uh, of Madrid? I just I prefer to go directly to the ground and to uh, talking about that, and then to go a little bit uh, on the in the on the theoretical part and uh, the methodology that we can use for uh, uh, covering the aspect of gender and, uh, and so on. So we we had these uh, three periods of, of uh, periods of assessment uh, before the beginning of the works for covering uh, the M30. Uh, during the works, um, when the uh, Green Park uh, was uh, uh, finalized, uh, and uh, uh, afterwards, and then so we and then we try, we we were we will try to check a little bit the trend where uh, we we were after uh, the, uh, the the running of the, the infrastructure. Um, first of all, uh, we, we were, uh, like I said, uh, our interest uh, was uh, for gender impacts, but for arriving to these gender impacts, we need to analyze uh, all the, the aspects that are uh, dealing uh, with the uh, infrastructure uh, cost. Um, so we, uh, we, 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 and we decided to enter by the environmental and the health impacts. And we were uh, defining the location uh, of entrances and exits of M30 and the um, ventilation uh, perimeters and emission measurement station. That was quite challenging. Uh, we have the data, but uh, at some point in 2010, this station of, uh, uh, for measuring the um, emission of uh, NO2 uh, were uh, changed. So we need to use uh, some um, station and uh, um, the, only the station that we had uh, during all the uh, and time uh, times that we were analyzing. Um, we have just uh, these uh, uh, very quick trends. Uh, the, uh, I present just quickly these uh, trends about the noise uh, and the, the and, and sorry this one and the uh, NO2. Um, and uh, what we can observe, uh, it's a little bit uh, not so uh, uh, mm -hmm. strong, uh, I would, the, the timeline, but uh, I can tell you that it's uh, from uh, 2003 and uh, until 2017. Uh, we observe then uh, when we have uh, these uh, new infrastructures, that uh, was not only covered, but as well uh, extended in uh, uh, its capacity, um, we, we have an increasing of the uh, traffic, of course, because we put more infrastructure, more cars are uh, able to use that, and uh, more cars are able to, uh, to create more congestion. So 
this is the first point that I think that we need to take into account when uh, we uh, propose a, a cost-benefit um, analysis, uh, that the travel time saving is a very ephemeral variable. Uh, it's, it's, it's during just the time that is during, no more. So this is uh, uh, something that uh, it's, uh, it's important to take into account when we propose a cost-benefit analysis based uh, exclusively or mainly on travel saving. Another aspect, uh, we, we have this uh, very nice uh, uh, map uh, produced by uh, some colleague from uh, another cooperative re related more on the uh, environmental um, aspect. Um, and we compare uh, the before and the after. Of course, before we, we don't have the covering uh, and the, uh, all the um, all the infrastructure and uh, after uh, we the, the the infrastructure was covered so we need to do some uh, adjustment but um, what we observe uh, is that uh, uh, the uh, the most in, in emission, the emission um, and the more affected people were uh, nearby the entry and the go out of the infrastructure that are more related with the uh, low income uh, neighborhoods. So this is uh, one, uh, one aspect. And, um, and then we decide to define a little bit uh, who, were, um, who, who, was who get some benefits from the infrastructure, neutral or affected, and will be uh, get some benefits from both infrastructures. Uh, the, the use of the M30 uh, road capacity uh, increasing and the use of the green park. Um, we have these uh, four different categories of uh, users, uh, the users of uh, infrastructure who were not uh, nearby the park, the user of infrastructure who, were, who can use the park, and the users, uh, and the no user of infrastructure who, who cannot use uh, as well the park, so we're just affected. Um, for the first point uh, and the travel time saving, I said that it was a very, is a very ephemeral uh, variable for uh, uh, evaluating uh, infrastructure, uh, at least for car infrastructures. Um, we, because it's not stable, uh, I mean, uh, if we put a, a, a new train, uh, we can have more people using, using the train, but uh, we don't have any effects on the, on the externalities of the, of the train, because the, the train is running for 10 or 20 people. For the cars, it's a little bit different, this aspect. So uh, first of all, uh, for uh, taking into account uh, from the beginning the, the equity, we were thinking that the key, the problem was related to the um, net present value. So the discount rates. And uh, we calculate different discount rates for a different kind of uh, income. Uh, this is a little bit to the scenarios that we define and I leave to you to, uh, to check that just to not go to go a little bit more on the, on, the, on the gender aspect. And what we observe that when we have a different um, a discount rates, it's, it's e easy to check the inequality. Uh, the scenario three is when we use different discount rates for, and uh, we, we can see that uh, this infrastructure is really regressive. So uh, it means that uh, low income people uh, are paying more for uh, each construction, even if we have the benefits of the, of the green park, but this is uh, another stuff. And then when we go on the environmental aspect, this is the second column, um, we can see that the hospital, we had like a three uh, age um, uh, range, um, less than 40 years uh, and uh, between 14 years and uh, 74 and more than uh, 75 with different um, uh, response uh, function. That is uh, the, uh, the way how we define, uh, how we calculate the, um, the affected person. 
Um, and with the cross crossing this data with the, the data for the hospital admission, uh, we, we, we discovered that uh, we don't have any improvement after the, uh, the, this, um, this infrastructure. Even was worse because we were attracting more um, more uh, uh, more cars. So we had a, a, a small improvement when the infrastructure was uh, under construction. Uh, but then the trend is that uh, things are uh, going uh, worse as well. And then I, I, when we do we go deeply in these data, and just we do this difference between. Uh, women uh, and, and men, we see that systematically uh, for all uh, stations that we uh, measured, we have more uh, women affected. And this, okay, it could be uh, in some way uh, explained by the, um, the fact that uh, there is more women uh, uh, in these neighborhoods, but it's not the only uh, aspect, uh, only explication. There is another explication. Um, when we define the, the we do some uh, data analysis on mobility and gender, we can see that uh, uh, women are more uh, at the, 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 the categories who are using more public transport and walking. This means that they are more exposed to the uh, pollution. And for that, they are more affected by pollution. So this is something that maybe we need to consider in the, um, aspects of the uh, of the analysis of the evaluation uh, that we do when we decide to do an, infra an infrastructure. Um, we go still uh, deeply in this data, and this is not only for um, for Spain, but even if when we use some data from the United States, we discover that we mainly move for caring men and women. Uh, actually, this is the uh, the first uh, results that we have, uh, like uh, the, the slide I showed before by Yoram and uh, how why we moved in the activity models. Uh, of course, uh, the, um, the trip to a uh, job is one of the trips that we do. And uh, most of the trip that we do are for other activities, mainly for uh, uh, shopping food, for accompanying children, for uh, uh, accompanying uh, um, dependent people to healthcare a center, or uh, for uh, um, yeah, for uh, accompanying children to school uh, and so on. So this is the one aspect. And then what we observe is the mainly this um, a kind of uh, a mobility uh, for caring uh, is done by. Uh, is female, it's done by women. Uh, with a kind of difference between uh, Europe, Spain, and, uh, and the United States, but it's like this. Um, so we face that the mobility of caring is uh, uh, the most of uh, uh, the, the purposes that we do more. And it's a quite there is a, a strange uh, aspect in the analysis of the data that we do. It's just that we separate all these uh, purposes and this way they lose the weight in the, in the evaluation. Because of course, if uh, I have uh, a shopping purpose and uh, a healthcare purpose and separated from accompanying children uh, purpose, uh, this means that they will take out the uh, weight to this uh, care purpose that the, the only the common uh, aspect is to, to care. Um, and this was even more during the COVID time when uh, the, this uh, uh, caring mobility e e percentage increased uh, enormously uh, and uh, was uh, uh, almost 60%. Um, so, um, this is just for saying that we need to focus on this uh, uh, purpose. And we, if, if we would like to have a more uh, equitable approach to the evaluation of the, um, of the, uh, of, of the evaluation uh, of the infrastructure that we would like to do. 
Um, so this is for the exante during and after the, the construction of the infrastructure. And then, uh, okay, there was a very uh, political challenge uh, in uh, saying that, okay, we covered the infrastructure, we attracted more cars, but we have uh, a green park. And uh, we did the analysis of this green park and uh, um, as well, still one, once again, the green park was uh, not so uh, illuminated. It was not a secure uh, place uh, for, uh, for women. I just leave it to you to read this uh, extract from uh, um, Tax Meredith, a, a, a book uh, that is, uh, she's uh, a, a sociologist from uh, Chicago uh, that was written that in uh, 17, but uh, I think that the feeling of uh, most of uh, uh, women uh, is not different today. And this is uh, what, what we face when we go through a not, not a secure space that could be a park. And then we have as well some uh, takeaways from uh, uh, some you, your very recent US survey that was presented during last uh, um, TRB during the um, Travel Behavior uh, Subcommittee. Um, and uh, we, we see that what women are looking for is uh, uh, to, to be securitized because the, 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 the problem uh, is that uh, there is a, a, a still uh, a not uh, a consideration of uh, their uh, needs and their uh, preoccupation. So how to, um, to mediate, what is the notion of needs? Uh, related to the, it is very related to the notion of benefit. So we don't, we don't move too much from the, cost benefit uh, uh, basis, if you want, um, and is estimating the benefit for of a population means uh, measuring how much the needs are covered. And, um, and the current benefit analysis is not able to highlight in the unmet needs. Like we have seen before for travel time saving, um, the, the, the low income people were not uh, consider enough, even if when we try to change the uh, basic values, uh, uh, mathematical value for uh, evaluating uh, that. Um, making needs visible is essential for identifying mobility uh, activities. And this is as well an important stuff because if we would like to identify mobility uh, activities, we need to, um, it, it, this is why we do infrastructures, just to, to answer to these mobility activities. So we are not uh, so uh, uh, marginal in respect to the core and the essential aspect of the, of the evaluation for the infrastructure. Next step, maybe we need to reorient the transport system uh, to trips of uh, caregiving or activities of caregiving, like you know, said before, we move from trips to activities, completely agree. But at least we need to have this uh, aspect considered in the evaluation. Um, transport planning between the uh, supply of transport system, mainly built for work and the unmade mobility needs for caring, uh, giving purposes. Now we need to rebalance the, the system. And uh, the mobility for caring uh, purposes need um, to, um, it's important for uh, improvement at the local scale, uh, more than uh, um, to take into account and optimize high capacity road infrastructure or even big public transport infrastructure. We have a very nice article from, uh, uh, from my colleague from uh, uh, Daniel Ojada from uh, Colombia, based in uh, uh, Lando School um, uh, UCL uh, uh, in uh, London. Um, and he said uh, that the construction of the BRT uh, maybe should do, have been done in different way because uh, still low income neighborhoods are uh, cut uh, off from uh, the, uh, the to link or to this big infrastructure. So, Really, uh, it, this is a call to take uh, the care of the details 
of the situation and uh, uh, the devil is in the details, in the, in, in the mobility as well. We had some, see some experiments to uh, translate these needs. Uh, maybe the 50 minutes city in uh, uh, Paris could be uh, a, an example. Or uh, uh, even the counterintuitive uh, uh, policy done uh, in some uh, city in uh, Spain, in Valladolid, where uh, during the pandemic time, they, decide to decide, they, they, they decided to increase the frequency. Even if there was not so many people moving, but the, the people who were moving uh, were moving for caring. So it was an essential purposes for moving. So let's go on, on that. And then what we can see, uh, maybe we need to have more women in the decision place, but not, this is not still enough. Uh, the, it, there is an imbalance, we, we, this is for sure, but we, we are uh, few uh, in, the, in the transport, in the evaluation, in research, or in the, on the ground, everywhere. And we are more consumers of transport, because uh, this is uh, uh, just uh, an example of the, um, of the mobility of uh, uh, women that, uh, that is always a little bit more complex. Uh, but, uh, in, uh, but it is not enough uh, at this point of the story. And what we really need is uh, to uh, have uh, um, an evaluation tools uh, uh, and uh, to have researchers embrace diversity and for that, we need a method that will champion it. I mean, we cannot uh, ask for something and not to give them uh, some uh, uh, solution. So this is just a very few slides about the diversity, equity, inclusive methods that uh, will address the critical gaps in uh, research uh, in uh, not only for women, but including ethnic, ethnic minorities, low income, um, women with the functional diversity and gender minorities. And this is a, a quite simple, uh, this, the, the privilege of this method is uh, that it's uh, simple, like just like the cost-benefit analysis, we, where we have the number at the, at the end, here is why we have the number. And um, uh, we consider different aspects, uh, communication, education, assessment, culture, investment in infrastructure and, uh, and how to compensate when uh, the other aspects are not covered well, how to compensate uh, the, uh, the, uh, the unbalanced uh, um, other aspects. So this is just some uh, uh, idea, uh, some uh, inputs. Uh, we need maybe to incorporate the, the uh, diversity and equity inclusion into mission and strategic priorities just like uh, Joran said before, we need to incorporate equity at the beginning. Maybe it's not enough. We need to go a little bit, we need to push a little bit more. If we would you like to keep uh, the eye on the, on the target groups uh, that uh, I just exposed before. And um, we, we need to use an inclusive language in communication. Uh, uh, we need to uh, educate uh, new and existing members in uh, research and in, uh, in uh, um, policy makers uh, and so on. It's not so, I think I am completely uh, uh, persuaded that 70% of people would be uh, agree with that. And uh, we need for uh, the assessment, we need to collect in data, new type of data, like uh, uh, taking into account mobility for caring, for example, gender uh, issues and so on. Um, assessment and review of the current gender policies in transport uh, is important for, uh, uh, for see where we are in respect to this uh, DEI maturity uh, index and uh, the accountability to DEI goals in all activities taken uh, by the diversity. Um, we need to have like a diversity ambassador team in some way. This is more uh, in, uh, maybe in, uh, a, an activist way to present, but this is really a science as well. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, based on, the, on what we analyze it in the data. In the culture as well, we need to do some uh, uh, change and, um, and to have a diverse representation in the leadership, uh, 
to be aware to address workplace discrimination. And for the infrastructure, we need to dedicate a staff for, uh, the, for diversity, equity, inclusion. Resource is not done by itself and uh, recruit uh, women and gender minorities or women with disability. It's not just because we need to be uh, for a paternalistic uh, um, approach, but it's because uh, we, uh, we think that people who suffer something are more able to do things uh, for answer to their needs. This is very related to the need uh, approach uh, evaluation. And uh, with that, I finish. Uh, so, so just assessing before acting, not to do like uh, it was done in Madrid that uh, we even we didn't found the environmental uh, impact uh, study. Um, uh, rethinking planning, including gender DI impacts, and the rethinking the organization of service. And then as well to rethink the design of public transport. I mean, maybe we need a, a new, a uh, new kind of planners or uh, uh, policy makers that uh, move their attention from the big infrastructures to the uh, details and to the um, public space as well. Of course, it depends. If we don't have the public transport, we need to consider that really for sure. That's all. Thanks a lot. I hope that uh, everything works well. Uh, and now I come back to with you.